you talking about? My relationship with Nathan has not ended. Why would you say something like that? Oh, well, apologies for my presumption. Yeah, why would you presume that Nathan and I are over? Well, before the good detective left Volanino's last night, he did, in fact, say he was taking himself out of the running, did he not? Yeah, he said that, but... Well, that you... that you trust me and, and, and feel for me and are on my side and... and, and Spinelli, I know history. what he said. I was there. Well, and, and that you don't have the corresponding feelings for him and that he wants you to be happy with me. Spinelli. The, the man that you never really stopped loving. Just, wow. Those are his words. His words. You certainly heard a lot for somebody who was on the ground watching imaginary birds circle his head. Well, I'm just saying, if that's not a breakup, I don't know what is. You know what? I need to get Georgie out of here before she wakes up. I'm sorry, up. did you guys have a reconciliation since then? No. No, as a matter of fact, I haven't heard from Nathan since he stormed out of Volaninos. I'm, I'm sorry, I've said too much. What else is new? I should just let you and sweet Georgie pass. But you know what? You're right. I beg your pardon? Technically, you're right. I mean, Nathan and I must be over. Well, well then I'm sorry, because I know you did have feelings for him. But I'm not sorry how things turned out. Because now that Nathan has stepped aside, the three of us are free to be a family. The hell we are. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. You don't, you don't want us to be a family? Let it go, Spelly. Well, no, but I, I know that you love me. Detect Detective West blurted it out, and you confirmed it. And now that he's bowing out, so what's the problem? Well, the, the problem is, instead of giving me time and space to make my own decision, you challenge Nathan to a boxing match. Yeah, granted, that was a wrong-headed move, but if I could just explain... No, I, I will explain. You don't see me as a person with thoughts and feelings. Well, no, no, I can sure you. I, no, I, I'm some sort of prize. Like, like a championship belt with a huge, gaudy buckle. A belt that no one even wears. A belt with no purpose. Now, why would I want to be with someone that treats me like that? How's Nina seem to you? I think if she stays focused and she tells the truth, it could be okay. So you're optimistic? Cautiously. Yeah, me too. But, I mean, she seemed fine when we brought her in for her last hearing and then she saw Eva's baby. Uh, yeah, I know. Let's not rehash that. I was there for the meltdown, remember? The judge has to know about it too. I'm sure. Well, we have to assume that he's got her updated medical files, which means that he's aware of her progress or lack thereof. We should uh, assume that the judge knows everything. Okay, well, if he knows that she's still delusional, why would he let her go? Why don't you let me handle that? Alexis, you know something I don't. <laughs>